what's up YouTube this is Foxtel Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks and in this video we are going to look for trends okay and you've heard me say this literally dozens of times I'm gonna put this on a shirt at this point honey new merch the trend is yo friend yes so this is gonna be a really short video so don't worry about getting popcorn but, but today I'm gonna show you how to set up your thinkorswim scanner to find up trending stocks I've actually gotten a few comments recently that a lot of you guys didn't even know about the thinkorswim scanner and literally just yesterday asked if I can show you guys how I actually pick stocks for watch list so that really inspired me to make this video and we're definitely gonna do more down the line all right but first if this is your first time watching this video please make sure that you click that thumbs up button it really helps the channel also make sure that you subscribe click that notification <laughs> Click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Why am I pointing at y'all like this? And make sure that you click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. And also, I know a lot of you guys really like the video that I just posted about Tiblio and how to use it and how to use it to find amazing option plays. If you haven't tried Tiblio yet, make sure that you check them out. And literally, I've said this before, it pays for itself within your first successful trade and you'll thank me later. So make sure that you use my link below to get your first month of Tiblio 20% off. So now let's get into some things in my Armand Wiggins voice. <laughs> so mainly we talk about options trading on this channel. You know, it's the options for me. And we also know that you can profit with options in any market. A lot of new traders are obviously more comfortable trading up trending stocks because I mean, duh, it's going up, it's fun, it's easy. All right, so let's make a scanner to find only up trending stocks really easy oh my gosh it's it's gonna be really easy just we're in thinkorswim so let's just go to the scanner and right now let's just go here and we're actually going to create a new scan query all right so this is the thinkorswim scanner setup bare empty and ready to be filled with love okay so the first thing for you guys to do if you're trading options is to go up here to the scan and you're going to click on scan in so right now it says all stop but for us we are going to want to change it to all options because we are going to be trading options and we only want stocks that have options available to them so you're gonna go to category and click down here to all optionable so boom we have that done nip to the bud we're only finding stocks that have options great okay so you'll see right here it has three different stock filters so the stock filter is gonna be used to scan for things that measure stock price action so that can be things like percent change the bid and the ask prices and stuff like that but right now let's just let's just we just need one right now so let's just cut that down and we're going to we can just put it at the the last the last price that the stock was but right now we're gonna leave that blank okay the next thing that you're gonna want to do is add a study so let's go right up here to add filter and you're just gonna put study here so just think about it whenever you're thinking of an uptrend you're going to assume that the stock is making higher highs and higher lows we're gonna be looking at price performance here and just click right here to price change. Uh, for this, we're looking for uptrends, so I'm gonna put greater than, just leave it at greater than, and then you'll see the bars here. So that's just going to represent days. So these are days. So let's just set it up to find stocks that are up 20% over the last 60 days. So, you know, that gives it a little bit of time, a couple of months. So this study, just the way it is right here, so these are going to be looking for stocks that are, they're 20% higher than they were 60 days ago. Um, and also they only have options available. Let me know down below. Let me know what you think about this so far down below. And then on this little box over here on the, on the right, this little box right here, this is for data limitation, okay? This is just going to, you know, have a variety of different things. So you can have day, you can have minutes, hours, months okay so what we're gonna we're just gonna leave it on the day and this is gonna give us a data limit of up to one year and let's just go ahead and go for it wow okay so you'll see here you know this is what we have so far we have 414 stocks that fit this criteria so these are all stocks that are up trending uh, they're up 20% from what they were so let's just kind of get a look okay 
All right, okay, I mean, it's still uptrending. It did have a good pullback. Uh, okay, so I mean, you know, we're kind of getting an idea here. These are all stocks that look like they're currently uptrending. So that's good, that's what we're looking for. And all you would really need to assess is the strength of the trend. Um, but yeah, you're just gonna wanna find the, the strength of the trend and then a good entry point. So that's nice and all, but let's customize it a little bit more because I hear a lot of people saying this all the time. Those prices are so high, Foxtel. Okay, I hear you, I got you. So let's get back in here and let's tweak it a little bit more. For this example, I wanna, you know, I wanna keep it kinda nice. So we're gonna go up here to this first uh, stock filter that we have that's blank. And we can just set our, this is gonna be the last price of the actual stock. It's just the stock price. So it's gonna be between 10 and let's say $75. Let's add another filter. So we're gonna go back to study and go down here to volume and add average volume. Okay, so the reason we're gonna look up the average volume is because it's just that. It's the average over a period of time, and that's what we're looking for. Stocks increasing over a period of time, right? Uptrend, boom. But if we were just to set it and look for the volume, then that's just gonna give us the shares that were traded that day. Uh, but with the average volume, it's gonna measure the number of shares traded per day over the last 52 weeks. So you see how we did that there? You, you see what we did there? That was nice, yeah. Uh, you're gonna see moving averages here and you have different options. You have simple, exponential, all that other stuff. Right now, we're just gonna keep it at the simple just to know the difference bet between the simple moving average and the exponential moving average is, is really easy. So I'm gonna say SMA for simple moving average, EMA for exponential. But SMA is just gonna be the average of the stock price over a specific period of time. And the EMA is gonna be, you know, kind of looking more to the recent prices. So it's gonna show new market data, all right? We wanna see averages, all of it. So once again, we're gonna be looking at what's been going on for a good amount of time so just leave it clicked here at the simple and then you're gonna see the period here I'm going to just kind of change it a little bit to 30 you kind of see how adding your own criteria is really gonna tighten this up okay leave that greater than and right here this is just gonna be our volume so for me I like to say a million but you know we can do something nice we can do 500,000 and we're gonna keep this uh, the same as it is right here so let's go ahead and scan Wow all right so yeah you see how putting in your own you know little customizations really tweaks it down a little bit because we went from 412 to 105 that's not that bad I don't know if y'all want to go through 105 but you know it is what it is let's just look through these what you can do is you can go ahead and save this so we're gonna save this we're gonna make it a watch list okay boom uh so I'm gonna name this crusty crab and so that's gonna be our new watch list personal crusty crab so this is the watch list that we just made over a hundred amazing uptrending stocks and let's go ahead and let's just check them out let's see let's see what we get with this we're not doing so okay this one is looking cute okay okay this is nice okay mm, I mean it's okay it's cute mm. so all of these are looking pretty nice they're all uptrending even though that was not really moving but it's still uptrending it's still in an uptrend these are this is great Great, man what is this this one has the earnings coming up too Ooh, we'll see what happens with that and you saw the last earnings it did really well what is this JKS okay I mean yeah that's pretty much it that's that on that I told you guys this was gonna be a short video but make sure you check out this playlist with all of the videos that I have on thinkorswim it's gonna show you all the screeners how to set up your indicators and all of that so you guys are going to love this just as much as I love you you know I appreciate you all right 